Hello YouTube and hello to all my light workers. This is a video to encourage you to go on your path. Yesterday was the Pisces new moon and I set my intention to have like a tarot business with amazing clients and yeah, let's see what guidance us light workers need to hear because we deal with so many different kinds of people. Like, I just had my pop up booth recently, and you know, sometimes people just drain our energy, and we need to know how to set boundaries energetic boundaries, time boundaries, like physical boundaries, you know. Because for me, I consider myself more of a clairsentient so I feel people's feelings in my body really easily um, what do we have seven of swords yeah some people when I get this card is about someone sneaking around and it's also the card of being indirect so perhaps it's time for us to be more direct with the people in our lives Six of Swords, moving away from bad habits, perhaps moving away from the things that no longer serve us. Six of Swords. I mean, it could be a travel card as well. Eight of Swords. I was filming earlier and like this was the first card I pulled for this video and I was just like, oh my god. Because sometimes us healers and intuitive guides, we may feel trapped in like not being able to say no, we may feel energetically drained, you know. So it's like, it's time for us to unbind ourselves from like obligations that are not obligations actually, it's just our internal thoughts that are causing it we have the world another travel card so travel may be healing for some of you important or significant but i see us um the world is about things coming to an end like a nice closure and the new moon, although it's not a full moon, is in the last sign of Pisces. So we might have, have wrapped up things nicely recently. Um, a nice closure to perhaps toxicity, bad habits. It's not about cutting people off completely, but having that boundary. Because the world in the traditional tarot is a lady with like a boundary around her, right? A wreath. And let's see what crystal messages we can get. So I have this crystal deck, which I love. What message can we get for us light workers? We have this one. Diamond. Oh, that's cool. Diamonds are more than just status symbols encrusted on the rich. Their radiant energy clears away spiritual cloud cover so you can bask in the purest light. Where to put it? Whatever you like to bling. When to use it? When you've got to keep, keep it icy. When you want to make your intentions perfectly clear. Yeah, we, like what did I say? The new moon setting intentions. When it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see, own it with diamond. <laughs> That's so apt. I love it. Okay, let's get two more. I mean, because I have an Aquarius stallion in my chart, I feel like I'm more of an, a mind person. Like I follow my thoughts more so i work with the 
affirmations. I work with working with living mindfully. This wanted to come out just now. Quartz. Among the most abundant minerals on the planet, clear quartz is everywhere, but it's far from basic. A master manifester quartz is programmable, so give it a job to do and get busy. Quartz intensifies the power of all the stones in your crystal collection. You can put it between your eyebrows during meditation. It says enhance your vision. When you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, call on course to help you see through the illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe, and start manifesting the impossible. I like that one. I have a very big quartz on my shelf. It's a bit... Let me just grab it. <laughs> it's like this huge quartz. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> um, isn't it beautiful? I feel like I need to cleanse it more often. But yeah, let me just put it here. Let's get one more card for us light workers. One more card for us light workers. They're all white color crystals. <laughs> Selenite. I see selenite is a form of gypsum with a calm, cool, and collective vibe. Who needs it? Healers, believers, the currently cleansing, Jews, technology, etc. You can put it wherever you want. The slate wipe clean, such as your bedside table after a brutal work week, or around your apartment after somebody extra shady visits. When to use it? When you move into a new space and want any lingering bad juju to the moose. When you pray to the gods above. When you've been working with crystals and want to clear away energy they've picked up in the process. Give, gem <laughs> give them a gentle tap with the selenite. Clear a path to enlightenment. I really love this. So these are all like, like clear, like white clear thinking crystals so it really i really feel the message is really like for us light workers you know it's, we're very sensitive people like they say people with like crystal auras white auras uh, they pick we pick up energies very easily for me i have most of the time i feel like i have a blue aura like sometimes I can see auras, but like um, when I'm really alone, sometimes I, I see a crystal aura. So, and then we have the this deck here. It's a very common, popular deck. Message for us night workers: Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. So this reminds me of Peter Pan energy, like it reminds me of having that inner child energy, being brave, like the fool. Message for us light workers, please. What's the message for us light workers? Priestess. Oh my gosh. She kind of looks like Christina Perry here. I don't know. How are you being called to step up and lead? Again. Priestess, you know, can be a tarot reader in the traditional tarot deck. So this is so apt. And we have... What else do we have? Yes. Just say yes with the three. Reminds me of three of cups here. Celebration with friends. I think that's so important to have people around us that truly and genuinely like support us. Um, I want to pull like three cards on the fairies deck. Divination. Oh my gosh. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see a current situation with crystal clear clarity. <laughs> oh 
my gosh, that's so in line with the crystals that we pulled. Okay, message for us light workers, please. Light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. So this is definitely like saying not to let other people affect you, not to let other people dim your light, you know. I mean, there's enough negativity in this world, isn't there? Nature's signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We only need to open our hearts and minds. And she's by the water. Reminds me of the star in the tarot deck. Like she has one foot in the spiritual and one foot in the ground to show that she's grounded still. And we have wisdom at the bottom of the deck. And it says... Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So believe in yourself. Believe that you are light and that you are wise. You know, I had clients that come to me that who are way older than me and that's totally fine. Like if they believe in the work that you do, then, you know, and if you're genuinely helping them, then there's purpose there, right? So this I have this animal tarot, I mean not tarot, our animal deck, but like I'm not sure. I'm not very familiar with all the animals, but like we could try. I'm not sure about that one. What message can we get? Octopus. Octopus is like someone that multitasks, right? Someone that has a, it's a lot, it's like water energy because it's like living in the ocean, but it has like its tentacles everywhere. So octopus is quite, I feel, is someone who is quite, um, you may be quite, it's actually one of the most intelligent sea creatures, right? Look at the, the, the brain. So you might be quite um, good at what you do. You might be quite, you may have your hands in everything, a little bit in everything, especially if you have Gemini in your chart. Fox. So we're learning how to, we're learning how to be like more strategic in our work. Because art, like artistic people, I feel like we sometimes we don't always look at the business side of things, right? Because we genuinely want to help people. So it's like, how do we become more strategic in what we do? And raccoon. So working with a shadow. I think a lot of times is how do we, how do we convey the messages to people without hurting them in a way that they can change for the better and work towards a solution and i think many a time it's like how how do we not let them you know become anxious about the future and how do we see the positive so yeah that's all i have for today i hope you gain some encouragement to this video and with all the planets in Pisces now is a perfect time to you know do set up your tarot business if that's what you've always wanted to do I totally encourage it and yeah I will try to upload more often <laughs> I've just been like in a healing journey in a healing process and I wasn't too ready to upload for a while, but now I think I'm more ready. And so yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!